what is the balance to what time is charged? Correct. And should we observe? Let me take let me go to that verse that is showing the balance of what time is charged. Yes. That should be the same is the charging past. It's the Greek word. But actually, it's doing the word with balance. But if you're not going to balance water, you have to go with balanced water. And what does Greek mean by balanced? Oh, 
This is a new, new thing. You can go through water, pass water. That is the implication. Now, the consequence is, what is this consequence? Who can tell you? What is the consequence of when a basic species introduced a new environment? What is the consequence? Biological.
think this was the old way from Japan. And you come to 200, just need to change it and take that water that is high salary. Now, when it's not the thing, the eye was is facing it out by an extent. You are in the shade of just do you have an idea? Can you throw more light?
economy and how these actions of man or woman, we call it man anyway, the action of man affects the water environment. This brings about degradation in the first place, pollution in the uh, another place, and everything like a total. Uh, and all these things are really a function of human behavior. Our people, when you look at this environment in our Lagos, or in the other let's call it in channels. You first of all look at the attitude of the people. How do you manage your waste as a person? When you take care of water, you take drink of this around the water zones or the ashore. How do you manage it? This is just in a microcosm level. If we are not talking at the high level, we are industries and other people who operate. How do they change the water? How do they manage the water around them? That is what I look at. The function of the people, the activities in the water is a function of the people around it. So when you compare our marine environment with that of America or Canada or US, you will see what from the picture I'm painting now, you will see that their form may be better. Because they have that attitude of securing their economy, knowing cleanliness, knowing how to manage waste properly well. And all these things, when we don't manage it very well, it brings about water or environmental degradation. And this is why all these things are coming up. When you hear here, the, the topic here I'm seeing here is marine litter. Is litter a good thing? I'm asking you, is litter a good thing? It's not litter of water, it's not the spelling of here. This litter is different from litter of uh, volume, when we are talking about volume. Is it not? You most of it are the science. But this litter now has to do with um, um, the geographical environment, it's talking about the biology, it's talking about waste and other things. It's so good. So we first of all know very well and make sure that we put in orientation people's behavior and attitude towards environmental management. Thank you very much. It has to do. It has to do with the area of uh, mitigation, and um, you, you mentioned about uh, long-term incorporation of uh, industry. Where you talked about the particular industry, which is one of the mega industry, where most of these plastics we are talking about now come from. Now, I, I just see that. Um, I hope you are following me. I also see that the authorities are actually rubbing. Sorry. Hello. I see that the authorities are actually smearing, um, smearing on it. They are not going, going deep to actually let these industries know that they are putting a lot of harm within the environment. Plastics. Um, I don't know how far they go into them trying to bring about research, right? I mean, they have to really come into research in ways which they can sell their products. Sell their products because they are still trying to control people on how to dispose this material out of use. It's really a very big problem. And now I will bring this matter into our own perspective, our country, Nigeria. You know, I'm not talking about the rest of the world. There are some people of this thing now. There are a lot that keep people from general. Is there no way the government or authorities can talk to big companies of this nature 
the sea that if there will be any other way you can sell their products and when people use it, it can easily be biodegraded without any much of this in the water. By the time you get to our water level, there are several of rubbish bottles, especially plastic bottles all over the place. In the other way, research can really get to this matter and see that the level of degradation of plastics is very Thank you. Uh, <coughs> thank you. Uh, I said this, the tool of regulation and prescribed exchange is not 100% effective. The reason is simple. The time you do that exchange, is the learning of that part as well, which at least 5% of the community. And what it means, it can also introduce this invasive species. That's why the island is saying that we want to phase out that generation. Now we are going to what is called pipe that every ship should install teaching system on board to teach this invasive species. Then the point now. So I was clear. Now coming back to this situation, it's not the only question, it's contribution. Now the issue of plastic, uh, why we are concerned with the maritime environment? Because it's coming to affect the marine biodiversity, affect shipping, affect uh, ecosystem. Now, the manufacturer, there are a lot of organizations that has obligation. The ecosystem government has obligation. The Ministry of the Environment has obligation. The Ministry of Agriculture has obligation. We have a new one called Nigerian Institute of Marine Research and Oceanography also has obligation. Now, what this means is that it's for us to have interagency. But I can tell you from our own side, we have gone ahead and established what is called a marine data action plan. It's a five-year plan. And we have identified some thematic areas, the research and development, which we now take that aspect and give it to the other to do research, to tell us what is the fate of plastic in marine environment, where are they coming from, what is the point they might give us the data. What we lack in this part of the world is data. And that's where the science is key. And I say in one of my, my stuff, I say research is key, is the innovation. Let me go back to show you where I mentioned that uh, here. You see what I say? The research concept, that innovation, what is, is the key? Is the key because if we don't focus into the future, the research is focusing into the future. Do we have an idea how many plastic manufacturing in Nigeria and also on daily basis? Do we have the capacity to recycle? Where are they coming from? What are the hot spots areas? Even hot spot states. I'm not the Nigeria state that we have about eight state. Which state is more hot spot? Lagos state, of course, because of what? Because of the population. Now, engaging those manufacturers, like I said in the last one, engaging long-term engagement with this in the recommendation. I said long-term engagement with industry in addressing waste management issues is very key. How do we do that? How do we do that? Apart from the look, what is the way to? We have to encourage them to embark on CSR, corporate social responsibility. Coca-Cola can identify this community and say, look, we are going to build plastic whatever for you. We are going to give incentives. But again, it means what? Political way. And that's why I said earlier that it's everybody's responsibility. The thing what you are doing here is not going to happen to you. When you get into the marine environment, the fish consuming, you consume the fish, it's back to you. So it's everybody's business. So we need policies. And the people that are doing policies, the government people, political way. The political way is not political aspect, it's political way. We need to say that we want to institutionalize this process to routine, to mitigate, to control marine data in marine environment. Our responsibility for the master of the time agency is to look at how can we control. And there's a convention on that. Uh, I'll give you a second if you want to click on London Protocol. Right? London Protocol. It's a convention that deals with marine data issue. Thank you very much. Um, sorry to come back again. Uh, based on what uh, the center is telling us, I think I so much. Yes. I appreciate it. You see, a lot of this 
we were talking about, I could never in those days, when Mr. Tupac, the former MD of Oceanographer and Marine Research, VI, I think in those days there is a discipline. But today is a different ballgame. What we are in right now is the uh, environmental, we don't have any discipline in terms of environmental. We are now taking things for granted. And that is what is actually affecting us. But if we can be able to reorganize and do things the way it's supposed to be done, things will come back to normal. Because when you notice in those days, oceanography and marine research is one of the best marine things. Even if you go to any part of the world, there is no way they are going to underrate our Indian oceanography and marine research. But what led us to this level is our own challenge. This aspect, uh, we are challenging the academia and the research is what I'm saying. We don't know the discipline. And I think there's also uh, limited innovation from there. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it for any of the people who are going to do this. It's their work. They know the Nigerians are also plastic. So they have data. They can come to the mass and say, we are not a research institute. I said, we want to conduct research. So that you can have data to improve on your policy. The people in the literature they don't care. They are the master. Yes, the master of the MPA. MPA do they play two roles in the ball. They regulate and they operate at the same time. But they need data. Who can tell them where the data is and they can now use it for their policy? So I challenge academia, and that's what I always tell them. You need to know to this entity now. So several of the problem was the one of the day is telling you take one and implement. We have life we don't see and we have climate change. Why can't they have money set? When they talk and say, oh, they don't have money, there's no fun. Come and meet the master and say, we want to do this for you. Pay us this. Sponsor. So that we can get our equipment. Please. I think this is one of the reasons why the school is also coming up um, in partnership with Sustainable Development Goals, where we have schools coming up with the whole recycling of bottles and rest. I think in some other developed countries also, we have points that have been designed where you can take your plastic bottles to and you get stipend or incentives just like you call that. And some people even really use plastic bottles to pay for things. And you give them plastic bottles that get access to this uh, goods and services. I'm a round of applause for that was a good exposition.